Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. So today is Vlogmas Day 20 and today we're going to be doing some cooking and today we are going to be do making some dipped pretzels. Now dipped pretzels are really easy to make. There's something that you can make if you are needing a last minute treat for someone or if you're looking for a last minute gift or hey I forgot I was going to a candy cookie exchange and all I have in the cabinet is some uh melting wafers and some pretzels. Hey, great, I've got something going on. Well, you know what? When Sam and I were at the grocery store, we actually, well, we were at Walmart. We found this kit. It was a pretzel dipping kit, and um, it was under $5, and it includes pretzel rods, red melting wafers, green melting wafers, and a holiday sprinkle mix. So let's get started making some dipped pretzels. I'm going to be cooking I changed into a top with not so long sleeves all right so thought I would show with you what was in my little box so it comes with a package of pretzel rods very noisy then we have a package of holiday sprinkles and then we have green melting wafers and we have red melting wafers and so the instructions say for the wafers to remove lid and product seal, place in microwave and heat at half power for up to two minutes, um, stirring every 30 seconds until melted and smooth. After microwaving, container may be hot. It says, um, using melting wafers to create delicious drizzles, shiny candies, and dipped treats. No need to temper or add more ingredients, simply melt. All right, to harden coated treats quickly, place in a refrigerator for approximately 30 minutes, then store at room temperature. Extended refrigeration could cause changes in appearance and texture. Product and kip can be microwaved again for second use. So that's awesome to know that we can save whatever is left and use it for a different project, which I have one in mind. So this is what it looks like. I'm opening the red one. It's got a good seal on it, so that is happy. So here are the red wafers, and we just remove the seal. Throw that one away. So we're going to do the same with our green one. And here's our green. So I'm going to go pop these in the microwave, and then we're going to decorate some pretzels. So here we have our red and green wax melt, wafer melts, however you want to turn them. So now, simply we're going to decorate our pretzel sticks. So let's get to decorating. are decorated some with uh, both colors drizzle some with sprinkles and some are just plain so we're going to pop them in the refrigerator for a while and we'll taste test when they're done So it's a few hours later, and I have this really cute little gingerbread man tub that I got at Dollar Tree, and I have my little pretzel rods. And look at what I'm doing here. All right, so here are what they look like. Here's a, just a plain green one, and here's one decorated with some sprinkles. 
And I am simply just putting them into my tub so that they stay all good and fresh because no one likes a stale pretzel. However, if you have stale pretzels, they do make for a good coating on chicken. So here's my other plate. Here's one of the designed ones I did. And I'm simply just layering them into my tub. Alrighty. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And here is my tub full of good yummies. All right, so that was making pretzel sticks from a kit from Walmart. Super easy, super simple. Um, I will have to say, I do not like the wafers. Um, I think that they, they seem to melt at different speeds. I'm not used to working with wafers like that. I'm used to working with almond bark. Um, and it seems to melt easier. Um, I don't know if it was the cardboard containers because typically I'm melting almond bark in a large glass bowl. Um, so it was just, it was a very different experience for me. If you are looking for something super easy, like here, you know, give to grandma, the kids and grandma can do this, or Hey, you guys can make these while I'm gone. Um, you know, definitely something, a uh, good for Christmas break. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas.